Hello, hi guys. What is happening, everyone? What's going on? How are you? Uh, let me refresh my screen so that I know who's here. Happy, what's today? Monday, Tuesday. Happy, happy Wednesday, everybody. Advance. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Um, I hope you're having a good week. I hope you're going to have an amazing week and it's going to be Black Friday. I'm going to fix my camera just so you have a better view of what's going on. I think that's so much better. Hi, everyone. Let's resume our live. Um, I'm going to fix it. And now we are back. It's Thanksgiving tomorrow here in the U.S. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Charlene. Hi, Rach. Hi, Tamara. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Christina. Hi, Deborah. Hey, Miss Tess. Eve. Hi, April. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Hello, Alondra. Hi, Michelle. How is everybody today? Are you guys cooking today? Hi, Pom. What are you guys up to? What's happening? What's going on? Um, so are you guys cooking? I am not cooking. I'm going to my sister-in-law's and she's an amazing cook. And so, yes, I am going to bring cookies Cookies to decorate. We're going to decorate every year when we get together, me and my sister-in-law, Irene. When we get together, her and I are decorating cookies. It's just a fun tradition. Um, cooking is done. So crafting is on. I love it. I love that. And Christina is cooking. Yes, I went to Black Friday shopping here in Canada at Michael's. What did you get, Rach? Anything good? Anything good that you got? Hi, Joanne. Happy Thanksgiving, sis. What you up to? Hi, Angela. How are you? Of course, you got paper, H. Is it amazing? <laughs> I'm baking and prepping. So, I will be in and out. Yes, what are you baking, my friend? Um, My sister is going to cook. So, tomorrow, we're going to drive to Reno, which is about two and a half hours away. And then um, she has she has everything prepared already. So I'm just going to bring the cookies for us to decorate. Of course, those speed <laughs> for those PHA members. Yes. Um, Michael's got some beads on sale. Oh, wow. I just bought some beads from Hobby Lobby. So I'm trying to be I'm trying to like never be on a no spend ever again. So, yes. Hi, Mimi, my neighbor. Hi, Chiquita. Hi, Alicia. How are you? Hi, Gabs. Oh, my gosh. Happy Thanksgiving to you, my friends. Hi, Denicer. Oh, my gosh. I forgot. What's Denicer's name? Did I write it down? Okay. Miss Denicer, what is your name? Oh, my gosh, Crystal. Hello. I'm making pecan pie bars and broccoli bacon salad. That sounds so amazing, my friend. Oh, my gosh. Angel, hello. My supermarket had no pumpkin pies. So we have to make my own for the first time ever. Oh, my God. <laughs> Denise. I'm going to write it down. The nicer. The de nicer. <clears throat> I'm writing it down on my laptop. Denise. Hello, Denise. Sorry, I forgot. Um, hi, Cindy. Hobby Lobby. <laughs> wearing a mask. I am making so. I want to. I just want to say hi to everyone. Hi, Alvina. Eileen, how are you? Oh my gosh, I'm cooking. Just ready to eat. Not cooking, just ready to eat. Oh my God, did you guys see the gnome card from Stamps of Life? Was it cute? Oh my gosh, Cousin Olga is here too. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy you guys are here. Hi, Shanita. You must be off today, friend. Um, I'm so glad you guys are here. I know I want to see anything gnomes. Okay, we're going to talk about gnomes too, by the way, you guys. Are you missing your craft room? Eileen, are you out of town? Or are you cooking in the kitchen? You're stuck in the kitchen. Hi, Nancy P. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Oh my God, I miss you guys. I felt like I was out. I did live Sunday, I know. But I felt like... Monday, Tuesday was the longest. I only worked two days. 
But it was so long. It was so busy. Hi, Nick. You want to say hi to everyone? Hi. You're so cute. <laughs> Work till six of the next glorious days. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, girl. I'm home. Just stuck in the kitchen. Oh, no. Eileen. Hi, Nancy P. <laughs> Eileen's eating. Yes. So maybe after you eat, you can hang out in the craft room. Today feels like Friday. Oh, my gosh. Everybody's so happy. Thanks, Bonnie. Thanks, everyone. That's why Nick always says hi to you guys because you say hi back. Um, where is your gnome cup? I am. I use this cup for a reason because we're going to do a Ray Dunn inspired mini cup that we're going to turn into um, maybe an ornament that you can give out to your family members if you're going tomorrow. Hi, Kayla. Oh, my gosh, Kayla. I finished my pocket. What is it? Pocket letter. It's my first time. <laughs> I hope it's okay. <laughs> Lady Mom T, how are you? Did I ask your name already? I don't have you on the list. Lady Mom T, hello. What is your name? Hi, Jackie. Hi, Lady Mom T. Oh, Pam. Hello, Pam. Kayla, I hope I'm going to send it uh, probably next week. Um, <clears throat> but I hope you're okay with it because it's my first time to make a, po a pocket letter. So I hope it's okay with you. <laughs> I'm so excited. Tiffany. Hello, Tiffany. Welcome, welcome to PHA. PHA stands for Paper Hoarders Anonymous. We are a non-judgmental group who loves paper, crafting, and everything in between. And we love to hang out, chat, and support each other. Welcome to the group. I don't even know what is a pocket letter. <laughs> I think it's like, um, like an ATC or a baseball card. Kind of sleeves, and then you put crafty stuff inside. I think the deadline for Kayla is 12.14. We all have time. We have time. Oh my gosh, Sydney's here. Oh, I'm so happy. Yes. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad you guys are here. I'm not going to be here tomorrow because we're going to be in Reno. So I don't have my setup. I don't have a table. And tomorrow, same time... Today, we're going to be making cookies. We're going to be decorating cookies, me and my sister-in-law, Eileen. Uh, Irene. Um, hi, Eve. Oh, her. Hello, Nurse Tara. How you doing? Yes, I'm going to be in Reno. But I don't think we're going anywhere because, yes, you guys know. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I had a long day yesterday. How was your day? How was your week? I had a long day Monday, to, Monday Tuesday. I don't know what happened, but... Oh. Anywho. Happy Turkey Day, everyone. Yes. Okay, so let's... Since we all know each other and we said hi to each other, I'm going to start with... Where do I start? I'm going to start with some gnomes. I know, Kayla, you don't like gnomes. Just just close your eyes. <laughs> I know today was such a drag. Yesterday was such a drag for me, too. Oh, my gosh. Hello, Ginger. Yes, you're driving. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sing. While you're driving, Um, you can listen. <laughs> today was a stressful, so tomorrow won't be, it makes, if that makes sense. Yes. Let's, let's do it today so we can hang out tomorrow. It's okay, Christian. Cover your eyes, Kayla. Um, I don't like gnomes. I don't get the big deal. I love gnomes so much. Um, and I got sent some gnome dyes from KS Crafts. So I'm just going to talk about that real quick. Because these are the gnomes that I'm going to... That I used. So you're going to see it's just a dye from KS Crafts. And the dye had masks with it. So I thought it was appropriate for like... I didn't like them at first either. It creeped me out. But eventually, I got to like them because of this, the movie Sherlock Gnomes. The movie Sherlock Gnomes is so cute. And I thought, I, I thought the masks were so adorable because of the ribbon. Is that? And then this mask, you don't have to put in the gnomes. You can put it on somebody else. And so... No, don't put no, don't put gnomes in her pocket letter. That would be. <laughs> um, 
Yes, you can put a mask on a unicorn. You can put a mask on any, anyone. Um, anybody. You can put a mask on a stamped, yeah. So look, I think it fits Santa too. So you can put, it's just that this is the only die that I found that had a mask on it, you know. Um, but the mask is so cute. And masks are so appropriate. We're all about masks right now. It's part of the outfit. And so look at this cute mask, you guys. If you don't like gnomes, you still have the mask. I thought it was absolutely adorable. This die had different kinds of like hats. This is from KS Crafts, you guys. And it has the beard. but And it has a stethoscope. Oh my god. Stethoscope, syringe this sign it also also has the sign i didn't use the i didn't use the nose i didn't like the nose particularly <laughs> which will be uh if i find a nose in my pocket later i'll <laughs> you throw it across <laughs> yes who knew we're gonna see dyes that have masks on it but look how cute that is you can totally put that on any critter i swear I swear you can put it on any critter and it's going to be so cute and appropriate. Hi, cousin. How are you? <laughs> yes, the mask is so 2020. It is a 2020 thing. And so I thought it was so, so cute. And then I can, you know, I still have some snowflakes left over. And I, I, I thought it would be so cute to be in here, like in the middle. You know, I'm going to put like... Look how easy that was. You just, this is just a thing that I fussy cut. And then I'll put the body. Right? And it could be like an ornament. It could be an ornament right in here. And then it says, wear a face mask. And it, this is so 2020 kind of thing. And just, you know, if it, moving forward in, in about 10 years, this ornament will be so funny. It's going to be funny, you know, by then it's going to be over, hopefully, right? And so, by then, you're going to realize like, oh my gosh, I remember this gnome with a mask. It was so 2020. This is my ornament for 2020. Or this is the ornament ornament that um, my crafty sister gave me. And it was for 2020. And so, I think it would be so cute since we're all crafters, right? You were thinking of Tara for the Moscato. <laughs> right? Gnomes are symbols of good luck and protection. We need it. Oh, yes. Le yes, we need it. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Call them creepy old men. <laughs> yes, uh, dirty old men. <laughs> um, But look how cute that would be to be, you know, you can... You can give this to someone as like, you know, a, um, like a gesture of good luck. You can put it on top of a package. You can do whatever you want. It's just so cute because of the mask, I think. I think everybody needs this mask dye, just saying. <laughs> Happy juice, palm. <laughs> Okay, so I thought that was so cute. And um, and then I saw my leaf die and I was like trying to figure out what should I, what should, I want a smaller gnome. And so I found my leaf die and look how tiny this guy is. It's just a leaf. Oh, I saw that. The Stella Rosa, they have that. They had that in Halloween. Hi, Jennifer. How are you, Jennifer? I saw they had it in Halloween, too. I saw the little mask charms. Oh, my gosh. I didn't see that. So, look. This was the big version. I didn't put... I'm, yeah. So, I'm going to show you how to make this one. Just in case you have a leaf punch. Okay? I thought it was just clever to just show you. Because I just want to share. That's all. Let me get a um, white piece of paper. Um, give me a moment. I get a piece of paper. I wish Christian would have prepared, right? But no, I didn't. I guess not. 
things you come up with. Oh my gosh, Angel, you're so sweet. So we're gonna punch this. Okay, it's just a leaf punch. So I'm like, oh my god, I wish I had a bigger leaf punch because it would be so quick. You want one drink on Saturday? <laughs> so cute. Hi, Christine. Thank you, thank you, you guys. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> so this is the leaf, right? It got punched. I know Hobby Lobby has bigger leaf punches. I'm just saying because I got this from Hobby Lobby. So, okay, I cut that wrong. I think I cut it too much. So let me try again. Punch. Whoops. And I think this will be perfect to use for your 6x6. Six six. You know, your 6x6 six six paper. We all have those. I know you guys hoarded your 6x6 six six papers. So I'm going to get scrap. <clears throat> like an itty bitty one. So for example, this is my scrap. No, that's a repetition. I'm going to get a small scrap of 6x6 six six paper. Here you go. So this one is a scrap, right? Super tiny. Um, whiskey and Coke Butterball Whiskey. It was a gift from Halloween. <laughs> Palm, did you drink it, Palm? Did you have a nice Halloween then? <laughs> okay, so you just, you know, you just approximate it. And then you just cut whatever shape you want for your gnome's hat. You know, I'm just winging it like that. Super easy, itty bitty. Look at that. Oh, that's too tall. That's exage. Let's cut it a tad. But I think this would be the tiniest. Sorry, okay, let's just trying to finish up the pocket letter. I didn't think it would take you so long to sew everything in between. Getting ready for Thanksgiving. Hi, Caroline. Hello. I'm so glad you guys are here today, you guys. I hope that you have the best Thanksgiving celebration tomorrow if you are in America. And just stay safe. Wear your mask. Even I know even if it's your family, just, just wear your mask for the grandma's. Okay, you guys, so look at our gnome. All we need is a nose, right? Guess what? That is super easy because, look, boom, we have this hole punch. So I got this scrap piece of paper, and I'm going to hole punch this one. And then voila, right? Your leaf. And your whole punch is now your gnome maker. Isn't that so easy, you guys? Bye, Rach. Talk to you later. <laughs> they announced that they're going to be shutting off electricity. What? How? Pamela, what's going to happen? Why? It's Thanksgiving tomorrow. Oh, hi, Anna. I didn't see you come in. Hello, Anna. That's insane, Pam. I'm so sorry, Pam. Why are they doing that, though? Just, why are they shutting off your electricity? That's crazy. And you can put a tiny itty-bitty pom-pom here or a small, small bead. Whatever you like. Let me get a bead. <clears throat> Because we are in Santa Ana wind path. Oh my goodness. So how long are you going to be out without electricity? So itty bitty. I want you to make what you like. Oh. <laughs> That's so sweet. Look at that. So I thought if you like gnomes and if you had a leaf punch, this is something that you might be interested in. And you can make a variety of sizes based on the leaf punch or the leaf die that you have. But KS Crafts have these specific gnome ones that has mask, masks on it and different kinds of hats. And a stethoscope and a syringe. I thought that was pretty brilliant of them. I love, 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 love it. Um, 
So these are some of the stuff that I made. And we're going to make a little bit more of them just for fun. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be super cute. Thank you so much. Thank you, Caroline. So I took the liberty of cutting some noses right here. Look at these other baby ones that I have. I have this one too. But this one I cut from a paper collection. I always think about what the person likes, but you're too sweet. You're so sweet to say that. Yes, Kayla's so sweet. Isn't she super sweet? Gnomes are not allowed in my craft room. Oh, no, Bonnie. <laughs> Updated my phone. I can't find my emojis. <laughs> No, okay, you guys, never, never, never. Okay, so these are the people who don't like gnomes. It's Kayla, Bonnie, and Ray, who is one prolly. So if you have plans on sending them goodies, don't put gnomes in them, okay? Just a tip, because gnomes are not allowed in Bonnie's craft room. And do not put gnomes in the pocket letter that you're going to send to Kayla, please. <gasps> Gina? And Gina, that's right. Gina hates it too. That's true. I I us I didn't I didn't like gnomes before, but I fell in love with it with the movie Sherlock Gnomes. I thought they are so cute, and then Hello Bluebird came out with these stamps, and I was hooked. They're too cute. <laughs> um, add me to the list, Shanita too. So it's Shanita. Shanita, Gina, Bonnie, Kayla, and Ray. Hello, Gemma. How are you? Oh, my gosh. Anna, too? Oh, my gosh. Cousin Sandra, too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the list is getting longer. Anna, cousin also. Oh, my gosh. So these are what we have. This one. And this one is the itty-bitty one. So if you have a leaf punch, it would be easy. And very convenient. He takes my phone and gives me a new one. All my crafting photos. Oh my gosh. Trolls are same as gnomes for anti-gnomers. That's true. Are they the same? They remind me of the seven dwarves. Oh my gosh. That's so true. It is the seven dwarves. Is it because of the hat? Is it a requirement for a gnome to have a big hat? Like if you had a small hat, you're not considered part of the gnome tribe? Don't know. Those are some basic questions that I have. Um, next, we're going to be making a cup, you guys. I just want to show you guys this one because I fell in love. I just fell in love with, with the masks because I thought the mask... The mask dye was genius. It was so perfect. It was the right product for the times. Paper gnomes are okay. Yes, paper gnomes are cute. Um, brown, but the gray and brown bread. Traveling gnome, crafty hoot. Do you guys remember the gnome from the commercial? Like, I don't remember the name of the company, but there's a gnome in a commercial, isn't it? Like, Travelocity, maybe? It's a Travelocity gnome? Do you guys remember that, or I'm just making that up? Um, Look how cute. I think that's so cute. And then, okay, you guys, since we're talking about COVID, because COVID is so in in my hospital right now. And so in, in all the hospitals, yes, Travelocity. COVID is so um, in season. COVID has been in season for a while, by the way. Um, I remember this paper pad that I have. And it is, I got it from scrapbook.com. Gotta go, gotta finish a few things, just go to bed, got early tomorrow. Everybody, please stay safe. Have an awesome Thanksgiving. 
birthday. Alondra, please stay safe. Happy Thanksgiving, sis. Please take the necessary precautions like masks and face shields and protect protect um, the older generations. Cover coming back in my hospital in New Jersey. Yes, girl. Yes, I'm not crafting with masks when I'm home. No COVID talk. I hate it. Hit my family. It sucks. Yes. So when you're home, you, you don't have to. It's just, you know, when you're around people. My daughter is going to Tijuana. What? Oh, she has to be careful. Please be careful. Tell her to please be careful. Bye, Alondra. Happy Thanksgiving, sis. Happy Thanksgiving, my friend. Thanks for being here. So I'm just trying to find the paper collection. Here's the paper collection. And it is from Photo Play, you guys. And this is where I got all my sentiments. This is the new normal from Photo Play. Because I really, 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 really want to document COVID. I want to document my COVID experience. I want to document the first COVID Christmas. Since we're talking about December daily. And that's a lot of what I'm going to be talking about because I'm doing a comparison between the new and old Christmas. And so that's why I remember this paper pad. What day are you coming home? Don't come over 14 days. For all 14 days. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the new normal paper. And let me show you because there's a paper sheet that has all these sentiments. It is insane. And you know how I love fussy cutting, right? So I love fussy cutting so much that I cut it all up like crazy. Like one day I just went to town and fussy cut, fussy cut, fussy cut everything. Let me show you. Oh my God. You're going to be like, what girl? You're crazy. Okay, look. I fussy cut them. Yes, I did. <laughs> and look at all these sentiments. It's like novel coronavirus, pandemic, take care of each other. Don't touch your face. Everything. Contact tracing. Empty shelves. Everything that's happening. Right? Yes. It's a takeout container. There's so many things that is in this collection. And then look at the shirts. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Look at them all the shirts like this paper collection they also have another collection so i just got two covid collections and i you know i just stuck with these two um there's a smaller collection this is the bigger collection i'm going to show you the smaller ones because these are perfect for this one is living the quarantine life and this is what he has, a lot of tissue paper, and says, I survived the great toilet paper crisis of 2020. Isn't that funny? Oh my gosh. Um, The name, okay, let me show you the name. So I got this from scrapbook.com, and it says, Living the Quarantine Life. And that's, I thought this is funny. Like, I survived the great toilet paper crisis of 2020. Yeah, I got it. Denise, I got it from um, scrapbook.com. And then this one is one of my faves to the new normal. And look, it has cut aparts for masks. So many things. So many cut aparts that are so appropriate. Look at this. Look at this bear just staying home. There's a hand sanitizer. Take out box, come in, we're open, hashtag social distancing. There's so many. Everybody versus COVID-19. Isn't that funny? It's not funny, funny, but it's just funny that it became a scrapbook collection. <laughs> wow, they're making money off of COVID. Yes, because people want to document. People want to document their experiences. And this is one of the reasons why I got this collection is so that I can fussy cut all these and make them into ephemera for my for my um covid journal because i want to document i want to remember and then i got all these up these are my favorites the black with white this is my favorite part isn't it so cute the windows and then just saying hi <laughs> There's so many things here in the in these collections that are heartwarming. 
Like, look at those. Remember the time when the kids are riding on the on the on their driveway about you know the masks. And then this is the back part. So I will definitely be making because this impacts me directly, personally, not just not just an individual, but for my work. And I see it. I see people dying from it every day. And just yesterday, a few hours ago, I was with a patient. And so this has just impacted my life and my family's life so much that I had to that I had to get this because I want to remember. Right, Denise? It's just made a huge impact on our lives, our work lives and everything. Yes. And so I will document, I will remember because there's so many things. So, you know, it made it a little bit funner um, to document on it because these are super, super cute. And there's like question and answer portion, work from home, you know, homemade face masks. I did that too. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, hi Yolanda. How are you? Yes. And everything, Every everybody got affected. And so... Um, look at that. So cute. I think it's going to be, it is very scary. And this collection has some stickers, social distancing, curbside pickup. You get all these we've never done before. So, right. You working from home, um, homeschool with the kids, online education. Like I have a lot of pictures about my kids doing this. And so. That's true, it is. We gotta we gotta support the small businesses so that they keep on they keep on going and they keep on going for it. And they survive. Um so I cut these so as you saw the papers, I just cut them up and then put some small tape like from the Dollar Tree. And so what I did was I started doing this one, like self-quarantine, like the itty-bitty cups. And I think we can transform this into a Christmas ornament. People don't realize the medical problems. Yes, that's right. Everybody has to be careful and take care of each other. It does affect pregnant women. That's right. I love the mini album you made. I'm making one. Perfect. Perfect. Let's document it. Look, you guys. Um, I was I'm I was gonna give this to um some friends and they can use it as ornaments for the Christmas tree. Um just to remember it by. And so we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna put it's so simple, it's the same exact cup, but we're gonna use it as ornaments instead of like um something that we put embellishment it's so easy you just punch a hole and then it becomes an ornament for you and then you can give it i want to put a book inside just to tell to tell about you know what 2020 is about like what we're doing with our <clears throat> ornaments for the family i think it is it is healthy talking about all these things in document to remember what we have been through that's right eve it is healthy it is healthy to talk about it. And I'm glad that it, it's a way, it's a coping mechanism too, you know. It is a very, very difficult thing. And us talking about it and you journaling, journaling about it helps. Um, So how look how cute that is. I'm going to get a small sheet of paper and I'm going to make a small book just so it hangs. Give me a second. And so maybe I'm going to fold this right here and make a small book. Right there. It would be cute as a teacher gift. That's right. I'm hoping people will now take more responsibility and more thoughtful of others. Yes. A lot of people are predisposed and sick. And so 
We have to take care of ourselves. We have to take care of each other. And be mindful that certain people have pre-existing conditions that makes them very, very vulnerable. So right there. I think this would be so cute as a gift. And then you hang it on your Christmas tree or your craft tree. Wouldn't this be so cute as a gift to like um like a non-crafty friend? And then you can just put your, you know, 2020 ornament or a dedication in a small itty bitty book right there. Right there. Christian, I and Murray are on the front line of the crisis. You managed to be uplifting. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you so much, Anna. That is so sweet. Stress of COVID and being cut off from all their necessary social lives. Oh, my goodness. It's I, I keep on reminding my kids. It's not just you. It's the entire world. And so we just have to develop coping mechanisms for it. Um, thank you so much, you guys. I love that you're here. I think we're all supporting each other. And I think being there for each other is one of the most amazing gifts that we can give to each other, you know? Yes, that's right, Christina. Thank you, thank you, Eileen. Sorry, not chatting. I'm cleaning and listening. No, or thank you for all you do, hospitals. Ugh. And here with us crafty peeps, you remind me to get get up thanks Kayla hello Tracy how are you I'm looking for a sticker that is small enough for that small I don't think I have any I don't think anything fits in here but I can do a tissue paper perhaps I can cut a tissue paper let me see I think I can cut a tissue paper and put 2020. I'm just showing you guys ideas. Um, it's hard to get away from. <laughs> is that a good thing, Palm? <laughs> so I'm going to, this is a, this one is um, a cut apart page. I'm just getting the tissue paper, fussy cutting it, and I'm going to put it. So just imagine you're going to give your homemade, handmade ornament to a friend. They can hang on their tree, and it can remind them of what 2020 was about. I'm sure nobody's going to forget, but this is going to be the ornament that represents that. Wouldn't that be so funny to have this on there? Let me get a glue gun. Oh my gosh, this would be, and then you can put your dedication on the inside if you want to, but I'm going to write 2020. It would be a cute gift, right? Is there a die for the this cup? Hi, Tammy, how are you? We're going to create the die. Ay, 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 dang it. Okay, we're going to create the, the coffee cup. There's no die, my friend. I'm sure there's a die out there. I know, um... Who has the die? Tonic Studios have a die, but I don't think it's this small. This die we're going to create today. And I have a tutorial for it, my friend. It's very recent. Hello, Elaine. How you doing? Thank you for being here. Hi, Patrice. I'm working on your challenge. So look, you know, it would be so cute. This would be a cute ornament, to be honest. Right? And we're going to create... A coffee cup ornament that is Ray Dunn inspired. And we're gonna just going to write on it. But I thought I, wanna, I was going to show you guys. Just in case you've already created an ornament like um, a coffee cup like this. You can customize it to whatever you prefer. Like look this one. I've already I made this during the um, during the tutorial. And so I'm just going to cut. A sentiment whatever sentiment you want because you know why not i'm gonna use this one <laughs> thank you for the link cuz thank you thank you so i'm just gonna put novel coronavirus i know it's so festive but <laughs> but the sentiment is not super festive but still it's a reminder of 2020 right i think this would be a cute gift 
to a non-crafty friend if they don't know how to make their own ornament coffee cup. This would be cute. And then you just punch this one and you can put your message to your friend or you can put 2020 on the front. Hi, Marcia. How are you? We are creating some um, Christmas tree ornaments using our mini venti mini venti um, cup and gr mini grande cup. And I already have a tutorial for this. And my cousin Sandra put a link on it. Watching and cooking. Ooh, how fun. Yes. I'm so glad I'm not going to be cooking because my sister-in-law is an amazing cook. Like, oh my gosh. She is a gift from the Lord. Don't you love those family members that are amazing at cooking? I do. I appreciate them with all my heart and soul. <laughs> Where's the twine from? This is so cute. Oh my gosh, this twine. Since so old, I think I got it from Michael's friend. Christina, I got it from Michael's like years ago. Hi, Yolanda. You're done cooking. I'm glad you're here. Let's craft. Um, ooh, ooh. I think I have to put this in the front. So wouldn't it be so cute to put like a dedication here if you have an anecdote about 2020 with this particular recipient or something i don't know but i thought it's it's just appropriate it's 2020 why not there's a tutorial out there to make these cups anyways we're gonna raid dunify it tonight because that's why i'm using this cup and not my gnome cup that's why i'm using my raid done cup or you can put like jingle bells too anyway so i thought that would be such a cute Ornament gift to a non-crafty friend. Um, now, and so this, I have so many, many, many um, sentiments because of that paper collection. So I'm so grateful that I have that. Now we're going to make the cup. And we're going to put a Ray Dunn spin on it. And it's going to be super awesome. I already pre-cut some stuff for you guys so you're not waiting my favorite one is the itty bitty one so we're gonna do a white one let's see i ordered the toilet paper got five percent off in a free merry and bright dye what where hello hawaiian bread how are you where is this bonnie toilet paper paper Hawaiian bread, we're gonna be making a um a cup. We're gonna it's Raydon inspired like this one. And so that's what we're gonna be doing. Your paper. I don't know the name. Oh, the photo play collection. Yes. It's five percent off and you get a free married Mary and Bright dye. That's amazing. And you get you got it from scrapbook.com. Sweet. Perfect. Wow. You got a discount and a free dye. That's amazing, I think. All right. So I have this paper. Gosh, it's 12. Wow, that's cheaper than how I how much I got it for. You're lucky, honey. Good job, Bonnie. And a free dye, too. That's legit. Hi, Sassy. How are you? I don't think I said hi to you, sis. Yes, you guys, if you want to document your COVID experience, scrapbook.com has a lot. And the ones that I have is from Photoplay. The names of the collection is The New Normal and Quarantine Life, I think. Let me, do you guys want to see the front of the paper again? This is Living the Quarantine Life, which is a tissue paper paper. Living the Quarantine Life by Becky Moore from Photoplay. I only have two. And I think I'm going to, I'm good. I'm good with these two. And then the other one is the new normal. Let me get the front. I 
I love it when you get deals like that on crafty items. I know, isn't it amazing? Hi, Veronica. Hello. We're talking about some papers that have quarantine themes to them. I only have these two for quarantine papers, and I got them from scrapbook.com. Um, I wish I had a coupon code for scrapbook.com for you guys, but I don't. I don't have an affiliate link. There is COVID paper, Leticia. Hello, I didn't say hi to you. They have free stuff all the time. Yeah, I wish we had like a coupon code for PHA. It would have been awesome. Living the quarantine life. These are so cute. Check it out. These are the two. They're ha they have more, you guys. But the reason why I got this one is because of the fussy cutting, the t-shirts that you can fussy cut. And then the if um the cut apart if um sentiments that I can do on here and the masks. And then this one I got specifically for the tissue paper and then this specific one. I survived the great toilet paper crisis of 2020. I think can't order any more paper. My husband said my craft area is blank, blank, blank. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Good thing I ordered this like before I went on. Um, I went on a no spend in September and then I went on a budget spend. So that's what I'm happening right now. So that was during the no no budget kind of era for me. Anywho, so this is, we're going to start making the Ray Dunn cups. Um, this is a two and a half by five and a half sheet of paper. On the two and a half mark, we're going to score at the, I have a tutorial for this, you guys. So don't worry, there's the tutorial. If I'm fast, I have it in my channel just for you. One and three fourths and two and one fourth. And this is not anything new. You've seen this before. You've you've had this. So I have uh so I will have my daughter get it. Shh, don't tell. <laughs> okay. Seven eighth. Seven eighth. One and three fourths. I'm looking at my cheat sheet. Two and five eight. One, two, three, four, five, three and a half, four and three, eight, one, two, three, and five and one fourth, one, two. Okay, dokie. So we have that, and now we just make our tabs. You guys, what's your plan for tomorrow? Are you guys gonna just. Because we're going to Reno. What about you guys? Are you guys staying home? Are you guys going to watch football? What you doing? What you doing? What are you doing tomorrow? Obviously, we're going to all eat. I'm so excited. I'm going to do some cookie decorating tomorrow. That makes me so happy. Um, guys, don't worry. I have a tutorial for this. That's why I'm just chatting away. Eating and crafting sounds like an amazing idea, sis. Oh my gosh. So that's why I'm just chatting because, you know, there's already a tutorial for this. I just want to show you we're slaving in the kitchen. <laughs> that's funny, Shanita. <laughs> Staying home cooking, crafting, and maybe going to drive. Ooh, how fun. They promise to make it up for it without the Macy's parade. Oh, wow. Is that what we're doing? Hey, Christmas is in one month. Exactly. Wow, yes. You guys ready for Christmas? I need to do some shopping. Which is not a bad thing. It's just me and my husband are going to talk about the Christmas list. Making tea cakes. Oh, I love tea cakes. Tomorrow's my birthday. Spending my daughter and her family. Happy birthday, Elaine! Girl! I work tomorrow night. We'll cook all night tonight. Oh my gosh, Denise. Sorry you're working. Happy birthday, Elaine. Happy, happy birthday to you. I'm making pozole. And then I will craft all day. Oh my gosh, Leticia. That sounds like an amazing plan. Cooking and crafting sounds like an amazing plan 
Um, we're driving tomorrow. Hopefully, we don't get stuck in the snow. My most hated part is it's okay to get stuck in the snow. It's the bathroom situation that is my problem. It's okay to get stuck in the snow. No problem. We are patient. It's the peeing. So where are you going to pee? Like the other time we got stuck when we went to Reno. Like the kids had to pee behind the trees. It was horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. So that's the part that I don't like, you know. Have you guys been stuck in the snow during a trip? It was, and then I forgot to get like, um, there's a female urinal snow. I think you can buy it on Amazon. I should have bought some. I should have bought some because I should have learned my lesson. Should have learned my lesson. So since this is going to close just like this. So I think my cup would be here. So my message will probably be here somewhere. So I just need to identify where that would be. So that it can look like a Ray Dunn cup. So my uh, i'm late what is she making oh i heart crafting hello what's your name it depends put depends in your car oh no <laughs> i heart crafting how are you wait what is your name i feel like i don't have you in my list honey i heart crafting and you got a new um logo I haven't seen that logo before. We're, we're making a tiny cup to make um, a Ray Dunn inspired like this. A Ray Dunn inspired ornament. And so I'm going to put... We're going to put cheers. Do you guys want me to put cheers or merry? Yes, one time we drove to Reno for New Year's on the way back. The news said a huge storm was coming on the coming in and left early. Everyone had this plan. It took nine hours. Oh my gosh, nine hours. Is that coffee you're drinking? Yes, honey. Coffee. I love coffee. It is my jam. What about coffee? Do you want me to put coffee on the cup? Or you want me to put Mary? Because it's a holiday ornament. So it has to be appropriate. What to put? Let me do a practice handwriting thing first coffee oh i love coffee so much <laughs> are you a tea person bonnie let's do let's practice coffee what about cheer you know what do you what do we see i see cheer mary bright i think that's cute Coffee is fuel. Coffee is for my soul. <laughs> Pumpkin coffee is my favorite. <laughs> coffee makes you burp. <laughs> I'm going to put... Um, what should I put? Energy Neo in it. And Coke is yuck. <laughs> Mary. Okay, let's put Mary. So it's, it's technically a Ray Dunn inspired mini... Grande made out of paper that you can give as an ornament. So you can do whatever you like. I I don't think I use the right pen. I think it should be smaller for the pen if for for it to be successful. But you you're going to you're learning from my mistakes. So the next time you make your own, you're going to use the right tools unlike me. I did not use the right tool, but learn from my mistake, you guys. I'm looking for my ruler. Sipping coffee right now, too. Yes! I still haven't seen pumpkin spice creamer in the store. You haven't? It's been out for a while, cousin. That's not good. I'm sorry. I am looking for my ruler. Where is my itty-bitty ruler that I use all the time? Are you? Oh no, I'm gonna have to use the big ruler. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. 
I'll use this. I'll use this. Oh, that's easier. Actually, that's easier. Genius. I have a lot of problems with kidney stones. Yes, you cannot. You have to drink a lot of water for kidney stones. Coffee is going to make give you stones, my friend. You are correct. Um, I'm a cocoa coffee tea girl. Ooh, I love coffee. What is your favorite tea? My favorite tea is Earl Grey or London Fog. If you guys like tea, let me know. Yuck water. <laughs> me too, water yucky. <laughs> I'm going to snuggle with my hubs. Oh, that's so sweet. Tamara, thanks for being here. Ooh, Denise likes chai tea. Christine likes chai as well. Bye, Tamara. Happy Thanksgiving, sis. Thank you for being here. Say hi to the hubs for us. I hope you have the best COVID Thanksgiving ever. Because that's all we can hope for, pretty much, right? It's like, because it's the first and hopefully the last COVID Thanksgiving ever. Ever, ever in our lives. Oh no, we've been drinking coffee since junior high. Oh, yeah, I love coffee. I started drinking coffee when I was 23 years old, I think. Because my grandma said I'm not allowed to drink coffee until I'm an adult. I love chai tea. I love all fruit flavored teas. Hot chocolate. Chamomile with anise. Ooh, sounds fancy. Ooh, Tara saying goodbye. Bye, Tara, if you're leaving. I thought Tamara is. Um... Oh, hi, Sandy. How you doing? Happy Thanksgiving. How are you? Guys, Lavi is Sandy. If you haven't met her, she's one of our friends. Sandy, what are you up to? What are you cooking if you're cooking? Or what are you crafting if you're crafting? What is everybody crafting? Are you guys crafting or you're not? No worries, Cousin Sandra. Are you guys crafting right now or are you just watching? After this live, we're going to pack for our Reno trip. And I'm so excited because tonight I'm going to color some frosting for tomorrow's cookie decorating. That gives me joy. Ooh, you're making Christmas tags. That sounds so much fun, honey. Em, hello, Em. Tess, what you making, Tess? Always a hot. Always a hot pot of tea. Ooh, I use English. Crafting Patrice's Challenge. Oh, yes, Patrice's Challenge. I was working on it earlier because I just finished Kayla's pocket letter. And I was going to start working on Patrice. And then I realized, like, oh, crap, it's almost seven. So I had to stop and kind of check out what I needed for my area, etc. So I will resume, but I will join for sure. Ooh, Mary Everything. Working on more espresso -ly cups. Ooh, I'm so glad you like it. Oh my gosh, Sassy, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let me know how it goes. Stamping doodlebug images to color. Perfect, girl. Fussy cutting time. Drinking tea and cleaning up the Christmas bomb. <laughs> it exploded all over the place. <laughs> Em is making wreaths, making a Christmas wang <laughs> for the loaded bag. What is Christmas wang for a loaded bag? Uh, making memory decks card. Ooh, how fun. I love making memory decks cards. I have, you know, I, before this year, I didn't know anything about memory decks cards. And then when I got the punch, oh my gosh, you guys, it is so convenient. You can memory decksify everything. Um, I have to clean up Halloween. <laughs> so much organizing to make room for Christmas. Yes, Palm, that is very true. I still have my Halloween stuff that I need to put in bins. So that is true for me as well. I had to put unicorns on my bookshelf. Oh, how adorable, Bonnie. I would love to see it. It's so cute. It is for my 3,000 followers on IG, but I'll show, I showcase my please on my youtube channel yes it is for kayla's i hope i was going to say ask i was going to ask 
wants to say, ask your husband. Wait, what are we talking about? I was behind. I will post all of the oh, project lives on my IG too when I have time. Yes. I, I was like, I wanted to see what people are sending so that I know if mine is the appropriate one. Because it's my first time, Kayla. So, hey, Nick. What's up? Nothing. Nothing. You okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just punching the bottom of our Raydon cups, you guys. Just an inch. Thank you for the link, cousin. Um, hi, Christina. What's up? Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, thank you, Bonnie. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, bye, Anna. Anna, you got to prep your turkey. Okay. I hope you stay safe. And while your turkey is doing its business, go craft. It's going to be fun. Good night. Happy Thanksgiving. Kayla, baby steps. Don't burn yourself out. Yes, that's right, Kayla. That's what makes me nervous about doing a challenge giveaway is, you know, all the work involved. Because when Gina showed her video about like what it is, what's involved in doing a challenge giveaway, you have to be extremely organized, you know, because of the entries everything and i know it's a lot of work so i want to make sure that i'm ready i am thinking just thinking there's no confirmation yet thinking of doing a challenge giveaway for my birthday in april but i need to think about it first and get a consult and get a consult not sure um I know, Palm, I'm busy with work, too. I've been waking up early to finish my swaps. Wow, and filming before work. That's crazy busy. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Have a safe trip. Jennifer, thank you so much. You, too, my friend. Have a great Thanksgiving, and please stay safe. Still wear protection. Protect the elderly. Don't forget, grandmas and grandpas. Um, my friend said it is a pain in the butt. She's never doing another. Oh, no. Happy Thanksgiving, Eileen. Christmas tag flip. Olga's doing a Christmas tag flip. Um, yes, it is a pain, isn't it? Enjoy it. Take it slow. Bye, Jennifer. Where's my other? Oh, there. You are so dedicated. Yes, she is. Oh, my gosh. Happy Thanksgiving, Eileen. Are you leaving? Good night. Okay. Well, thank you, Cousin Eileen. Thanks for being here. And thank you for supporting. I know it's late over there, hon. Um, hope to talk to you um, in a few days. Stay safe and have a great celebration. I'm just cutting on to the side. Oh, my gosh. I was sporting... I was sporting um, work nails for the past two days, so I was able to. This did not turn out as I expected. I definitely, okay, you guys, so the learning for anyone who wants extra protection. <laughs> Colloidal silver. Is that a medication? Because we're using en energy, emergency like the orange drink here at home. I think you guys, if you're making this, you have to use a smaller um, tip pen. Don't use the Sharpie. This Sharpie is relatively new, but I wouldn't use this. I would use the finer tip one because look, it doesn't, it do, it's okay. It looks cute. It looks cute enough, but I would prefer it to have smaller thinner writing does that make sense that's actual silver in the liquid oh wow pain meds kicking in let me go before i get goofy oh my gosh okay good night yolanda <laughs> have a good night's sleep it is a spray it's a spray oh wow it, it, it boosts the immune yes 
silver co colloidal, silver colloidal, he said. Keep telling my husband he needs to drink it. We bought a box for us. Oh, wow. We use colloidal silver too. Oh, the emergency. Yes. My husband just told me about it because we were talking about my patient. Uh, my patient last night and it was like, yes, we got to protect ourselves. So I think you guys learn from my mistake. Do not use, use a thinner, a thinner, finer tip because it's so much better. Right there. I use it whenever I feel immune is immune system is compromised. Right there. So I, I, I don't know. I think that it is not. You know how like you have a vision in your brain that it's going to look cute. I think it did not turn out how I wanted it to be. I use airborne. You should teach kindergarten kiddos. Oh, wow. That is tough. Emergency tends to have a lot of sugar in it. Oh, is there um like a sugar-free emergency? Artificial ingredients. Oh, hi, kitty. How are you? How are you, kitty? Are you cooking? Because you are a cooking, cooking mommy. What's the recipes you're going to be doing this Thanksgiving, Miss Kitty? What you doing? What you cooking? Share it, share with us, friend. Are you trying a new recipe? Are you going for the, um, the regular guaranteed ones? Sugar-free is usually bad. Okay. I'm baking pumpkin pies for the first time tonight. Well, yesterday I made some. But I'm making more tonight. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yes. Artificial sweet sweeteners. Um, bless you, Yolanda. Stay safe and get rest. That's right, Yolanda. Take care. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm making green bean casserole. Stuffed jalapenos. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's a lot. And everything's from scratch this year. Oh my gosh, girl. You win the award, girl. Because, oh my gosh, I cannot do that. One, two, three, four, five. That is a lot. That's a lot. What about Stevia? I don't know much about, like, the artificial sweeteners. But I know my... Um, my brother-in-law, they use it and he's he's like um like an endocrinologist who is an expert in diabetes. Yeah, she deserves an award. Oh my gosh. And my brother-in-law says Stevia is good. Right, right, exactly. Yes, Stevia is okay. And that's what uh, and gluten-free people use Stevia. People who are trying to avoid carbs use stevia. So I want to make it special because since it's just me, my husband, and my daughter, I want to make a deluxe Thanksgiving since no one is coming. Good job, Claudia. Girl, you got this. You're amazing. Stevia is plant-based, yes. If anyone else lives near, you're more than welcome to come and eat my house. The more the merrier. Oh my gosh. Okay, Christina. Good night, Christina. Happy Thanksgiving, friend. Four and three eighths. One, two, three. Five and one fourth. Where do you live? Yes, we're coming over. I'm going to cancel my Reno trip. <laughs> Where do you live? Um, Claudia, where do you live? Okay, Christian ladies must go to bed. Yes, going to bed early. Because you got to wake up early. Thank you, M. M, thank you for being here. 
posted pictures of my pies just came out of the oven oh my gosh it must it must smell so good in your house right now girl oh my gosh must smell amazing hi phyllis hi cousin phyllis how are you good night am happy thanksgiving am I hope you guys stay safe and stay strong out there. Take care, you guys. Guys, I just wanna I just want to um regain my failure. I feel like this is a fail because I used a thicker pen and I'm redoing it just so because it, I feel like I, I gotta I gotta get it back. I gotta regain it. Um yeah, I'm trying to, because I have an idea in my brain and I feel like because of the wrong pen, do not use a thick pen. Do not use the one that I used because I know this project is, it can be so cute. Hemet, is anybody living close to Hemet? Claudia has so much food. I think that is six hours, eight hours away from me. I know there's potential to this project. I believe it. I believe it. Kayla. Good night, Kayla. Take care. Let me just. I think it could be. I think there's potential to this project. And I want to give it as like. Um. Like a Ray Dunn inspired ornament. If I just use the right pen. You know, I just don't want to give up just yet, you guys. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you have that image in your brain and you want it to succeed. Night, Kayla. I hope a lot of people join your challenge, friend. It will be so much fun to see everybody's take on it. Because a lot of us, it's our first time to do um, like a pocket letter. So it could be so much fun. It's my first time and um, I could really use a lot of feedback from you guys that are experts. I know Patty started with pocket letters. Yes, I love Ray Dunn mugs. Perfect. Yes, let's make it. It's a 15-pound turkey for three people. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of turkey, Claudia. Christina, I hope you join me, sis. You know, it would be cute if you put the name of your recipient on your mug. Wouldn't that be so cute? But with the Ray Dunn font. I really want to do Kayla's challenge. I just don't know if I would have enough time. Christina, um, where is the channel for the pocket letter? So I think cousin Sandra, do you know can you put a link for um for Denise? For Denise for the Kayla's Instagram? Um, I think Christina, you have time. You have time, sis. Because it's the deadline is is December 14th. You have time. Ange! Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's going to be eating turkey in the next two months for sure. <laughs> uh, my brother-in-law is cooking the turkey supposedly on the grill. Wow. On the grill. I have never seen that. That would be so yummy. Sounds so yummy already. Thought of by making them for my co-workers. That would be so cute. Yes, the shipping delay. That's what I'm worried about, Kayla. I think if we just send you the proof that we mailed it, I don't know. You know, because of the shipping times, I think, you know, if people actually send their entries... And just, of course, it's the holidays. It's harder. There's going to be a lot more demand. Let me know. I might extend the date. True. True, Kayla. I think that will be awesome. 
a fancy cooker hop on. If you extend it, a lot of if yeah, if you extend it, Kayla, a lot more people will be able to join for sure. Oh my gosh, you guys. I made a mistake again. Now I forgot to write. That's okay. I'm going to wing it. Lori! Oh my God, happy Thanksgiving. Yes, Deborah, that's right. Homemade turkey pot pies. Turkey sandwiches with cranberries. Um, I see turkey soup. Um, turkey casserole. Turkey meatballs. All that. Cousin Olga, are you saying good night to us? Or are you saying good night to Kayla? I want to make sure we say good night to you if you're going. Each of those links are the exact challenge. Thank you, cousin. Oh my gosh. Cousin Sandra, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You are an amazing mod. Appreciate you so very much. So very much. I will. I don't know the right term. I will regain it. My husband is visiting his mom. And out of town. And I'm home alone. My mom is making me a plate. So just crafting all weekend. Wow. And amazing. What is the challenge? Sandy. The challenge is to send a pocket letter to Kayla. And I, th I think cousin Sandra put a link to her Instagram channel because her Instagram has all the instructions for you. Hi, Jean. Hello. Hi, Jenny. Bye, Kayla. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Hello, Becca. We're trying to do a Ray Dunn inspired one. I failed on the first one. So, yes, Turkey Tetrasini, Turkey Carbonara. Right? Turkey sandwiches. There's going to be a lot of turkey. My still, my son is still sick, guys. Please pray for him. Can't get an appointment until December 20th. No turkey this year. He's on liquids. But we're blessed to be together more than food. That's right, Lori. There are so many blessings in life. And being with family is definitely one of them, my friend. You are very blessed. And I'm glad that he's okay. He's not on a vent or anything like that. I'm glad he's okay. Hello, Carmen. Hello, hello. Going to make turkey tacos, turkey enchiladas, turkey morley. <laughs> oh my god, kitty. <laughs> oh, Claudia, yeah, you're so funny. <laughs> I miss what you are doing with the pocket letters. Oh, um, since Kayla's not here anymore. So I don't have a lot of experience with pocket letters, you guys. I'm going to show you my pocket letter. And let can you give me feedback if you have a lot of experience with the pocket letters? Oh, mole. Sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know what morley was to begin with. <laughs> or, or mole. Mole is a soup, right? Turkey tortilla soup. I, I know mole is a soup. I just don't know what it contains. But are you guys okay? I started making PL. I love them so, so much. Shanita, can you give me feedback? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you guys the one that I want to send to Kayla. I'm going to send it to Kayla. But it's my first time to make a pocket letter. And I don't know what it looks like. What is the size? What size is a circle? It's a one inch circle punch. Um that I'm using for the bottom and for the, you know, handle. Cute layer. Be afraid to go outside the pockets. Oh, don't be afraid to go outside the pockets. I did not know that, honey. Because I was all inside the pockets. Don't be afraid. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to show you guys. Please, please, please give me feedback. I want to make it better. I want her to be blown away by my pocket letter. I'm going to attach this real quick. And then I'm going to get my pocket letter. Please let me know how I can make it better. Give me a second. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it's cute. Let me get it. Oof. Oh, my goodness. So, okay. I just want to let you know that this is my first time 
never done it before so please be please please be kind um is there a secret making shakers i suck at it oh i hated shakers before i hated making shakers but it's so so cute and so you just practice miss tess and prep time yes since then i started making shakers and it's so much fun after that Okay, so this is my pocket letter. Please be kind. It's my first time, so I've never done it before. Okay, guys. Soleil! Hello! Hi, Soleil! So glad you're here. Okay, this is my pocket letter for Kayla. She's not here anymore. She dropped off, so I'm I'm going to show you guys. So I, I just used the Cozy Days collection from, uh, from Simple Stories. I'm at a school car park. Oh, yes. I'm glad. It's morning in your time, Soleil, isn't it? I have a pocket letter on ID. Test you skinny strips of tape to make the shakers. Now it's easy. Put washi on the end to wear the holes. So, you guys, should I make a shaker? Because this is my first time. I just put my information in the back. And my question was, am I supposed to decorate the back or just the front? Um... And what are the rules for pocket letters? You, I wanted to put some shaker elements, but I didn't know if that was allowed. I don't know. I don't know the rules, pretty much. I've been swapping for three years. Be creative, no rules. So I can put, like, pockets that flip? Is that allowed? Oh, just the front. Oh, it's 2 p.m. your time. And you're waiting for your boys. Add a charm on the top. Okay, charm on the top of the left side pocket. Shakers added. Okay, so I can add shakers. I didn't know if I could. I wanted to put like really dimensional ones, but it won't close. And it kept on popping off. So I just added some of these little itty bitty ones. I'm not, I'm not used to putting like super minimal layers. But I just put these. Is this okay? trim in between the rows oh i have no clue right jenny yes so we can put shakers she doesn't want goodies so you can so you can do both sides so i i don't i don't know what what the purpose is am i supposed to just because i just wanted to share some of these embellishments is that okay Put shakers in it. Okay, I can put shakers in it. Put the little things in the back pocket, like ephemera. Oh. Get rid of the pocket letter. So what am I supposed to put in the front of the pocket letter then? No rules. Decide what you want. Sometimes the front tells a story and fill the back with goodies. Oh. Use a fuse tool to shake. Okay, I'm going to use the fuse tool for that. Christian, I've been seeing a lot of ribbons dangling in yarns on the left. So Okay, so I can do some ribbons right here. Make small envelopes and fill inside and decorate. Oh, make some small envelopes and fill inside and decorate the outside. Any, I can put anything I want. So the front is decorated cards. Oh, it's decorated cards. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Because, look, this is what I have. I don't know what to do. I thought it was just a background. Because I see people have a background. So it has to be. It has to be a decorated card. The front is decorated. The back you can fill with things to share. Got it. Oh it's a decorative card. Like an ATC. Then goodies in the back. The paper treasury has sap bolts of pocket letters. Hi Brandy. I didn't see you come in. Hello hello. You decorate the front and put the goodies in the back. So I have to see. Good thing I asked you guys because I would have like. So how do you decorate the front? You just layer some flat ephemera. Oh my goodness. Oh you're with your mom right now Jenny. Hi. Nurse Tara has lots of pocket letter videos. Oh, I'm going to look at that then. Pocket size embellishment. There's all kinds of variation. No rules. Small embellishments. Then you can make a flap so it's shut. Each card is an embe... Oh! So every single bit you have to decorate. I thought you just put embellishments. 
So all these I have to put. So all these, okay. So how do you decorate? Do you decorate with quotes? It's very, is it okay? Oh my gosh, I hope it's okay. Do what makes you happy. Look at YouTube, so many examples. Yes, ephemera, doilies, endless possibility. Yes, it is. Got some boots for her to decorate, so I'm going to put that in the back then. Um, but I want her I want her to be able to use these because I know she loves this collection. So this is what my base looks like because I already have like sayings on them. So I have to... I didn't know. Good thing I asked you guys. Oh my gosh. Yes, please. Good thing I asked you guys because... Oh, I would have sent her like this and it's not appropriate jeez i'm so glad you guys are here otherwise i would have sent her this i thought i was done like for reals you guys i'm so glad you're here right i'm like what the heck i would have sent her something wrong oh my gosh so i'm gonna put all of these and then i decorate and i it cannot be chunky because it has to be flat cards. Oh, well, this is where I put my information. Um, hi, hi, Tara. Check Pinterest for ideas. Okay. She would have loved it still. Oh my gosh, I hope so. You can decorate the front any way you want. Inside pocket, outside. You also decorate the front like a scrapbook without a picture. You got this. Old school Christian mini embellishments. Oh, Ange. Thank you, Ange. Yes, I like to make mini embellishments. So I can put those. Okay, good, good, good. I'm glad to know that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, good thing I asked you guys. Otherwise, I would have sent Kayla the wrong one. So like a like a story in the front, and then the back portion will have the bonus. Okay, got it, got it, got it. I'm gonna put these back, and I'm gonna work on it tonight. Um, removable tape, so she can use them as well. That's right. Okay, I was gonna use washi tape for them. I know, Jenny. We need lessons. <laughs> Tick tock toe for the boots in the back. That's a cute idea, Sandy. Fuse tool. I want to put some shakers. Too. I sent you a video of a doodle bug pocket letter I made in February. Perfect. I want to see that. Thank you so much. You guys, me and Jenny need lessons. Button sequence embellish. Oh, oh, I can give her some em sequins and charms. Oh, can you put erasers? Is that too much? Is that too much? If I put like fall erasers, like I have a fox, shake a sister. Oh, shaker is perfect. Washi tape is a good idea with them to decorate and to share. Okay, so I was going to put some washi in a small strip. That's a great idea. Hi, hi, um, hi, Makas. Hello, how are you? Shake a sister. Never too much. Okay. <laughs> I find my mermaid pocket letter I made last year. Please send me a picture, you guys. I need all of the all of your knowledge. Erasers are fine. So it's okay that it's super bulky, you guys? I didn't know that. I thought it was supposed to be flat. Oh my gosh. I'm so ill-equipped in this challenge. Well, that's why it's a challenge. Hi, Makas. Aloha. We're talking about my ill-prepared... <laughs> Oh, nice. I feel so bad. Um, Yes, I did not know. Oh, my goodness. Can I put some COVID? Can I put some COVID? Um, <laughs> I love these COVID sentiments. Oh, my God. This gives me so much joy. If you can fold it after, that's a plus. Yes, I can fold it. Look, it's still flat. But I've never seen it in person. So... Oh my gosh, we need lessons, me and Jenny. Not super bulky. Okay, got it. Okay, ladies. Happy Thanksgiving, Miss Lori. Au revoir. No erasers. Okay. 
No erasers. That's too much. That's too bulky. So I can't put beads because it's going to be too bulky. I can put shakers. So that's a yes. Thank you, Bonnie. I'll check it out. I think she has some of the submittals so far on YouTube. There's a huge variety. So I just need to check. It. Joanne, you're back. I just need to check it out, I guess. Um, I thought I could just wing it, but I guess not. And then what is too bulky versus... Like, erasers are too bulky, beads are too bulky. But shakers are okay. Shaker sequins are okay. Embellishments, mini embellishments are okay. Made of paper, seed beads are okay. Okay, good to know. I think people put dangles on the side. Okay, I, I have dangles. I can do that. So I think this is a good base to start. And then... But I can still decorate on the outside, which is a plus. Um, Christian, I sent you pictures. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, even trim off the side. An eraser dangle charm. Yes, that's true. You want to have some erasers in there, right? I'm in Project Life Swap currently. I haven't started yet. Oh my gosh, we are getting some lessons, Miss Joanne, me and Jenny. <laughs> Jenny, we can do it. Oh my God. <laughs> It's going to be so cute. So I see people putting ribbon. I see people putting washi tape samples. That's what I wanted to do. But I didn't know if, if it was too bulky. Chipboard is okay. Glue on the outside with stronger adhesive. Tra Patrice, so should I use like glossy accents for the outside and not glue gun? Because I was anticipating that I'm just going to use a glue gun for it. Thank you, Cousin Sandra, so much. Thank you, you guys. You guys are a fountain of knowledge for me, Joanne, and Jenny. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe, like, I've never done pocket letter before. I've been, I've been scrapbooking for 20 years. I do Nouveau Drops. Oh, wow. Hi, Jessica. Happy Thanksgiving, girl. How are you? What kind of adhesive? Yes, what kind of adhesive for the outside? Bonnie uses glue gun. I think it's too thick if you fold it and it doesn't stay folded. Okay. You recommend I recommend Gorilla Glue. Hot glue will not stick for a long time. Oh my goodness. I sent you one of the stuff I have in the back. ATT works. Oh wow. I use Stombo Extreme. Okay, what do I have? I think I have Tombow. I have I have this. Is this okay? E6000? It says extreme tack. Oh, but it says create glue dots of glue. Okay, I guess this is repositionable. Dang it. So that's not it. You can sew on the pockets. So stuff away until it unfold on you. <laughs> Makas. <laughs> Stuff it until it unfolds. Poochie, hello. How are you, friend? E6000 works. Okay, cool. I have E6000. How are you, Poochie? Are you going to go live today? Are you going to go live? Are we going to go watch you? Might burn through the plastic. Test on a different piece. That's a good idea, Pom. Good job. Yes, what time? What time, Poochie? Go live, Poochie. Yes, we want to see. After me? Okay. Well, I'm almost done. I was talking. I was just getting tips. Poochie, I was just getting tips on how to do my pocket letter. And I have so many amazing ideas and words of wisdom from everyone. So we can switch to your channel now if you want to, Poochie. What do you think, Pucci? Are you ready? So I can make my pocket letter and finish it up and ask for more advice. Let me know, Pucci, if you're ready and we're going to switch, hop on over to your channel. Six more minutes. <laughs> Six more minutes, huh? <laughs> you want to start at 8.40. Got it. <laughs> I watched you forever last night, Poochie. I fell asleep and missed the very end. Did Elijah tell Santa about the good girls? <laughs> Poochie, I was uh, working last night. Poochie is going to make a project life. Oh, yes! Perfect! Perfect, perfect, perfect. 
I'm in the middle of your replay from last night. Oh, that's so sweet. I love this supportive group. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so grateful that we are we are in this together. We're supporting each other because it's the same journey. And I'm so, so glad that I found you guys. Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you. Six minutes. Let me flesh, fresh your own. <laughs> Sorry. I'll be passed out. It's so late in Palm. We're on this together. So everybody, Poochie is going to go live in her channel. And we're going to hop on over there. Um, Cousin Sandra, do you mind putting Poochie's um, link to her channel just so everybody can hop on there? That was an old rap song in the 80s. <laughs> So that everybody can hop onto her channel and we can all are you Pucci, are you making up um a pocket letter? I didn't know the song, Tara, sorry. Is this depressing? I think it's just real. This one is just a what do you call this? Uh wood wood veneer? Oh. And then I just put Nouveau Drops from Cousin cousin Tara. And then I put this sentiment. Yes. Yes, Denise. There. There's, um, there's, uh, Denise, there's Poochie's channel link. And so we're going to hop on there when she is ready. Capital G, Poochie. <laughs> and we're going to hop on there to hang out with our, our cousin Poochie. And she's going to go live and she's going to teach us how to make a pocket letter. Is that true, Poochie? Oh, you're sharing a haul tonight. Yes, the chat is fast, dude. That was my second... My second tape ever. <laughs> Your second tape! Your second cassette tape! <laughs> oh my goodness. I really want to redunify this, but I feel like... Flatten the curve. right i hope i didn't miss anyone i don't i think you got everyone let me know when you're ready poochie because we're gonna hop onto your channel die cut stickers and small embellishments i need to write that down die cut stickers and small embellishments oh stickers is a good idea die cut stickers so i'm gonna work on that tonight Small embellishments and washi tape too would be a cute one to share and shaker 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 happy mail stamper is miss joanne cute flowers oh but it's gonna be flattened look it, it's flattening already i don't know if this is acceptable See, I love to make those flowers, but look, it's flattening because of the, the plastic. I guess it's okay. Yes, wrap washi around the playing card. Perf it fits perfectly in the pocket. Okay, I'm going to do that. Um, Urban Gems. Yes, that's Cousin Tara's shop. She has a lot of Nouveau Drops. It's amazing. Thank you for the link. Remember, Pucci dog is cute from back in the day. Tara shop. Um, put it on the edge where the three holes are. Oh, here. Put washi here. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I need to do that then. So I can decorate these. I just, I need to do some research because I feel like it is, it is time I'm going to add these, flatten the curve. I think she would like social distancing. I think this is a good thing to share. Some COVID sentiments. Ribbon, seam binding for tassels. Oh, that's a great idea, seam binding for tassels. Seam binding for tassels. Washi seam binding for tassels. 
I'm signing off. Sleep deprived. Oh no, Palm! Put a bling on the side strip. Bling. Good night, Palm! Take care! After you wash it on the side hole, punch holes. And she's placing on binders. Got it, got it, got it. Happy Thanksgiving, my friend. Yes, research sounds professional. <laughs> Isn't that funny, Ange? <laughs> Bye, Palm. Thank you for being here. Take care. Happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe out there. Oh, my gosh. You guys are so nice and supportive. Like, that's that's why we're all here, I feel like. is like It's like a sisterhood, you know? It's like a sisterhood of like, hey, guys, what are you up to? What have you been doing? What are you crafting? What's happening? And just hanging out with, e with each other. And safely you know i think this is an amazing community that we all have and i'm i feel so blessed to have you guys washi comes off on the plastic hot or cold okay so don't put washi just give washi tape samples then because i have washi tape samples that i want to put Hey, Pochi, are you ready two meters apart? Because we're going to migrate to you, honey. So true, my mom and sis. Look at me like I'm an alien because I asked for scrapbook supplies for birthdays. It's perfect. It's a perfect present. Because if you don't tell them what you want, they're going to give you like, you know, a bra. <laughs> Which is like, uh, don't give me a bra. Give me... um. Can you just give me a gift card? If it's my birthday, give me a gift card for Amazon or scrapbook.com. I will be really happy, right? Don't overthink. Just have fun. Okay. Because this is my first time. I want it to be okay. I would go crazy. I know. Oh, my God. Jenny, me too. Oh, paper clips. Jesus, you guys are legit. Paper clips. L Pucci, let me know if we're switching to yours. I'm just waiting for your signal. My son is watching with me. Hi, son. How come she's not saying his name? What is his name? Angel, what is your son's name? No bra, please, Christina. <laughs> Deborah, happy Thanksgiving, sis. Bye. Take care. Christian, close the pockets with paper clip so the ephemera doesn't slide out. Okay, good idea. Angelo. Hi, Angelo. How are you? Happy Thanksgiving. Advance happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe. Bye, Deborah. Happy Thanksgiving, sis. Stamped out in colored things. <gasps> Stamped images. But I feel like my pockets are full. I need to send her two pockets then. Stamped images. I have so many stamped images. And she loved what I sent her. Because I sent her some from Snow and Coco. And she said she loved it. So I need to send her more of that. Oh, Phyllis. Hello. Nick came today. He was looking for you. <laughs> Nick. I think he's he's downstairs. Hi, Angelo. Welcome. He has the biggest smile on his face. <laughs> Look! Oh my gosh, Angel, look. Everybody's saying hi to Angelo now. <laughs> I'm going now. Okay. All right, guys. So, I think Poochie is ready. Um, One last time, Cousin Sandra, for me, you, Todd, too. I think um she's going to need the link for Poochie's channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, guys, link, click the link that Cousin Sandra gave us right there. We're going to go to Poochie's channel now. I think she's getting ready. She's getting prepped for life. If you need to go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom. And then we're going to meet in there. Um, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate all of you guys. I think it's so valuable having you guys here during the pandemic and having each other. Thank you so much. Ha Advance Happy Thanksgiving. If I don't speak to you, um, we're going to go now to um, my cousin Poochie's channel so we can watch her. I think she's doing a haul video. Thank you for all the links, you guys. Take care, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. May you to may Todd to. I'm glad you got it. Refuel break. Yes, I'm gonna go potty and then I'm gonna go to Poochie. But thank you guys. 
I enjoyed having the moment with you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all the likes. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Stay safe out there. And this is Christian signing off. Have a wonderful crafty day. Bye. Woohoo.